Hey guys, this is Vikas for Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cool looking fashion promo slides or animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins and let me tell you, this tutorial is inspired by one of the video hive template and I have given a link in the description for that template so please check this out and without any further ado, let's open After Effects and get started. Alright, so now we have to start with a new composition. So click on this new composition. Let's call it main comp. And let's set this size 1920 by 1080. And set this frame rate 30 and duration make it around 30 seconds and hit OK. Now we have to take one more composition. So click on this composition, new composition. And let's call it slide 1 and set this 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 and duration make it 8 second and hit enter and now we have to take one more composition that is going to be our media placeholder where we can add our image file which we want to use in this composition so go to composition new composition and let's call it media 1 and set it 1080 by 1920 and set this frame rate 30 duration make it 8 second and hit ok so now we have a vertical composition and now we have to import our image file so just right click over here import file and select your image that you want to use in this composition so i'm using this one and i have downloaded this from pixabay.com and a link given in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import and let's rename it to image 1 okay and just double click on this media one and let's open it up and drag this image one into this media one comp okay and hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it up a little bit okay and now select this move tool and drag it over here okay now we have to remove this white background from this image because we need an image with transparent background for this project so just select this paint tool and draw a mask around this character so i'm gonna do this in fast forward so Alright, so now we have to take one more mask for this section. So just reselect this and create a mask over here. Something like show. Okay, now select this image one, hit F on the keyboard to bring out this mask feather property. And let's subtract this yellow mask from the bigger one. So just select this and select subtract. Okay, now select this both mask and set the mask further maybe 25 pixel and hit enter sorry maybe 10 pixel and hit enter all right now close this okay and click on fit okay now double click on this slide one and let's open it up and drag this media one comp into this slide one okay and hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it down a little bit okay and Select your move tool and drag it over here and set this image right over here. Okay, now we have to take a background. So hit control Y to take a new solid and let's call it BG. And set this color white, hit OK. And drag it below the media one comp. Okay, and let's close this media one. Okay, so now we have something like that. And now we have to create a rectangular stroke over here. So just select this rectangle tool and set this field to none and select this stroke, maybe solid color and pick a color, something like yellow and hit OK. And set this stroke, maybe 20 pixel and hit enter. 
okay and let's create a rectangle so just drag it something like that and select this move tool and drag it over here okay now expand this rectangle one and click on this add button and add a trim path and expand this trim path and go to around three second and create a keyframe on end by clicking on this stopwatch button okay and go to around five second and click on this button and add a keyframe over here also and go to around one second and set this end value zero and go to around seven second and set this value zero okay so now we have a animation something like that so now select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy is this keyframe and go to your graph editor and if your graph editor not looking like this then right click and click on edit a speed graph okay and select this point hold this handle and drag it something like that and select this point hold this handle and drag it something like that and close this graph editor and close this shape layer and let's play this so now we have a stroke animation something like that okay now let's rename it so right click rename and rename it to rec rectangle and hit enter okay now right click on this rectangle click on pre-compose and let's call it rectangle and move all attribute hit ok and now let's create a duplicate of this rectangle so hit ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate and select one of the rectangle and drag it below the media one comp ok and select this rectangle and select rectangle tool and create a mask something like that and select subtract and now create another mask for this section so just drag it and create another mask something like that okay and select it subtract so now we have a nice stroke okay now close this rectangle okay now we have to add our text over here so just select this text tool and type a text whatever you want to type so i'm typing first and select all this text by hitting ctrl a okay and choose your font style but i'm using century gothic and let's decrease the size of this text maybe around 70 and hit enter okay and let's set the color pure black and hit okay now select the move tool and drag this text over here now select this both rectangle layer and media one also and right click click on pre-compose and let's call it image comp and check this move all attribute and hit ok okay now select this image comp and select your rectangle tool and create a mask over here and select this mask to subtract okay so now it's looking something like that select this text and hit arrow key and set it over here okay now we have to add another text over here so just select this text tool click over here and type whatever you want to type so i'm typing fashion slideshow okay select this slideshow and let's increase the size of this text maybe 90 okay and change this bold to regular okay and set this line as spacing something like that okay now we have to create one more text for the description so just select this text tool and click over here so type description for this slideshow and set this line spacing auto and let's set this size maybe 50 and hit enter now i'm tapping in fast forward so
all right now hit ctrl a to select all this text and let's down the size a bit maybe 45 pixel and hit enter okay now select your move tool and drag this text over here okay now select this both layer and just drag it over here okay now we have to take one more text so just select this text tool and click over here and type 01 enter 01 hit enter and 01 and select this text by hitting ctrl a and set this to bold okay and let's increase the size of this text maybe around 350 and hit enter okay now select this move tool and drag this text somewhere around here and pick a color something like that and hit ok now drag this text below the image comp and close this image comp okay so now we have something like that and now let's animate all these layer so just select this okay hit p on the keyboard to bring out this position properties and go to around three second and click on this stopwatch to create a keyframe over here and go to around five second and click on this button to add another keyframe on five second and go to very beginning of this animation and hold control and I scroll down to zoom out okay and hold left mouse button and drag it somewhere around here and go to the end of this animation okay left click hold shift and drag it up maybe over here okay so now let's play this so now let's make more interesting animation so just select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease this keyframe and go to graph editor select this point and hold this handle and create a curve something like that and select this point also hold this handle and create a curve something like that and close this graph editor okay and now let's play this so as you can see this is not looking so good so what we have to do now we have to create a time gap between each layer so just go to one second and drag this keyframe over here and drag this keyframe over here so now it's looking something like that okay now go to maybe 20 frame and select this and place it over here click on fit okay now go to on 10 frame and select this keyframe and drag it over here and now let's play this so now it's looking much more interesting okay now do the same for these keyframe also so just go to maybe on seven second and drag this keyframe and drag it over here and go to seven second and ten frame and drag this keyframe also and now go to seven second and twenty frame and drag this keyframe maybe over here so now it's looking much better okay now select all these layer hit u to close this up and let's play this animation and now it's looking much more interesting okay what we have to do now let's go to main comp okay and drag your slide one into this composition and let's take a solid and create a background so hit ctrl y to take a new solid and let's rename it to bg2 
and make it little bit of gray color and hit OK and drag it below this slide one okay so now let's play this so now we have a nice animation okay so now you can create different version of this slideshow by using same technique so i have already created three more composition so i'm going to just import that slide so right click over here import file and i'm importing my previous composition and hit import now let's open it up and here is my second slideshow so now drag this slide 2 into this composition and go to around 6 second so just drag it over here okay so now we have something like that so so just drag it over here something like that okay so now let's import slide 3 so just close this slide 2 and import slide 3 into this composition and drag it on 12 second maybe so i'm going to set this on 12 second and 20 frame so just drag it over here so now i'm going to import my last slide show slide 4 just so select this and drag it into this composition and this one i'm going to set this on 18 second and 30 frame maybe on 19 second over here so now it's done and let's check this animation All right, so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you like it. So I will see you next tutorial till then. Bye-bye